Hey guys, I'm Danny Spees, and for today's Ingredient 101, we're talking sweet potatoes. Now, sweet potatoes are a sweet, starchy root veggie that are packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. They're a really high quality carbohydrate. Matter of fact, they help to balance blood sugar levels. So this is exactly the type of carb you wanna be incorporating into your diet. Now you'll see them in a bunch of different colors like orange, purple, yellow, and even cream colored. And technically speaking, it's these cream colored potatoes that are a classic sweet potato. And these real orange ones are really yams. But just for the sake of conversation, we're gonna keep it all under the same umbrella. Now you do see them in the grocery store all year round, but know that November and December are their peak seasons. So this is when you're gonna get the best flavor, the highest nutritional value, and the lowest cost. Now you wanna look for sweet potatoes that are nice and firm, have no soft spots or cracks on them. And if you find a sweet potato that still has this pointy edge on it, you know you've got yourself a pretty fresh sweet potato. As for storage, they just like to be in a nice, cool, dry place out of the sun. I usually leave mine right on the counter and they last a good two or three weeks. Now, once you're ready to work with your potato, all you have to do is give it a good rinse under some cold water and really scrub down the skin. Because remember, they grow underground and they can get pretty dirty. From here, your sweet potato is ready to go and you've got lots of options. You could go plain Jane, just poke a few holes in it, pop it into a 425 degree oven for about 45 minutes or so, and you are gonna end up with a creamy, sweet, baked sweet potato. But they also like to be steamed, sauteed, roasted, and even grilled. One of my personal favorite ways to make them is to cut them up into one inch cubes, skin and all, because that's where all the nutrients are, then saute them in just a little bit of olive oil. I let them go about five or 10 minutes until they have a nice brown edge on them. Then I season them with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and just a kiss of curry powder. Clean, simple, delicious, and to die for. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, make sure you check out cleananddelicious.com. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another Ingredient 101. Three, two. For more, hey, okay. Blah. From the top.